Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have shown you many example applications of the morphological operation, which is one of the very powerful operations, right? We have seen erosion, we have seen dilation, we have seen opening, closing, top head transformation, okay, right? So now, in my this video, I am going to discuss another very interesting application of this morphological image processing, right? So first what I am doing, I am reading one image, post.jpg, okay? Let me just show you that particular image which I am taking for this particular use case. So I am having one image, which is this one. You can clearly understand that in this image, there are pores present and as well as there are fine cracks are also present. Now, as image processing engineer, what you have to do, you have to separate the pores and cracks part, okay? So, pause my video, try to think about the algorithm, how you can do this, okay? Try uh, using the same algorithm in MATLAB, using the inbuilt functions, whatever I have discussed in my previous video. Check whether it is giving correct result or not. If it is not giving, here I am explaining, no need to worry, right? The algorithm which I am going to follow that it is quite obvious that pores are obviously of bigger size compared to cracks. Cracks are very fine, right? So we will first apply erosion, okay, on this particular image, right? Suppose I am I, I, I am going to take one very small size structuring element. I may take disk structuring element of size only one. That itself will not fit properly in cracks because cracks are very fine, very the gap, uh, the uh, width of the crack is very less, right? So during erosion, what will happen? All the cracks will be erased. Then we can apply dilation on that using same structuring element so that the during application of erosion, whatever pores uh, part compression happened, that will expand, right? So basically erosion followed by direction, there is nothing but image opening. If we apply, we can easily extract the pores part. And then we can easily extract the crack part by subtraction of the pores part from the original image. That's what I am going to do, right? So here, this is my original image. So I will show original image, binary image, pores part, crack part, four images in same window. So I am using subplot two comma two comma Four, okay, I am so X giving title as original image, right? Now, what we will do, we will convert this image to binary image, right? Because morphological operation will work in a very good way in binary image. And here binarization, we, we, we no need to think much about the threshold because it is clearly, the objects are clearly separable from the background, right? So what we can do, we can simply apply the binarization suppose m equal to i m binarize okay of x right and then what i will do sorry this will be one that is first in the first plot i am going to show okay so i will copy this paste this here i will change the index to two and here i will change the i am so m and here this will be my binary image okay let's check that right so now if we run the whole code, what some error we are getting? Let us check. It must be two dimensional. Is my X is RGB image? Yes, this is RGB. Okay, right. No problem. So what we can do? We can apply here RGB to gray. Converting from RGB to gray and then run. So this is what is my original image. This is my binary image. Now we are going to apply opening, closing all the morphological operation on this. But you can see this is what image here. Object is basically black background is white. But morphological operation, how it works? It works on white uh, object, black background, right? So what we'll do, we'll make the objects white. So I will take here one simple complement and run this code again, okay? So see, perfectly thresholding is done. Now we will extract the pores part using image opening, using the structuring element of size 
uh, uh, suppose we are considering disk shift structuring element of one pixel one radius one okay so what will happen the cracks as they are very fine so they will not fit in that and only pores will be getting right so let us do that suppose k is equal to STREL okay disk shape structuring element I am going to take of radius 1 right and then we are going to apply I am open on this image and then we will copy the same code okay and paste it here it will be 2 comma 2 comma 3 it will be PO okay and this is force part right let us check whether it is working or not or it is giving some error some error okay spelling mistake I am open yes so you can clearly see that the bigger parts which are basically pores do all those are extracted now the last step is we need to get the crack part from this how we can get you can clearly understand that see we can use logical operation because as you know logical operation is much faster than any other kind of operation you can apply arithmetic operation and you can get the uh, crack part from the binary image but what we can do we are going to use logical operation because computer will work much uh, faster in case of logical operation so how we can do that see here we can complement the post part this image if we take complement so what will happen background will become white and all the post part will become black then we will end that one with this binary image right so then we will be getting the cracks part because see background after complementing of this particular image you will be getting white white and with this black background will become black only and the pores part which uh, which uh, when you are taking complement will become black so that black portions when you are doing and with this binary image wherever pores part white pores part are present that during end operation with the uh, black part it will be nullified and only cracks part will be remaining right so what we can do we can do that so cracks part equal to my m that is binary image and of okay complement of po right i will be taking this and paste here this is going to be my fourth index and this is cracks right and this will be cracks part right hopefully it should work let us check yes perfectly we have segmented the pores part and the cracks part right so this is another very interesting application of morphological operation i hope you have understood this what is the importance of morphological operation see from the binary image where pores and cracks both are present we have separated those two right so kind of image segmentation we are doing here okay i hope you have understood this particular use case the code i will be posting in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can go and check there thank you